Hey guys, Dave here from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with my Steam colleagues Ryan, Ted, Nate. And uh, today we were going to bring you another episode of Dungeons and Dragons Monsters, the Edder Cap. And your Edder Cap is found on page 131 of your trusty monster manual. So, I, you know, again, one of the great things about the monster manual for this edition is like. The, the the bullet points, you know, quiet killers, sylvan despoilers, enemies of the fae. Just reading those words, it gives you like a, a quick way, like, oh, this is the way I would use this in my game. <laughs> yeah. You know, they also throw out there, you know, a, var a variant on the editor cap, which is the, the web garret. Which you need that. You need to use that. Which is, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty freaking awesome in and of itself. You know, these creatures, you know, they use poison. They're they're very sneaky and stealthy. They're, they're gonna use spider allies. You, you know, really these these are like the kings of the Mirkwood. Yeah, they're super creepy, super eerie. So, uh, you know, I guess you know with, with with this this series, we're always mainly focusing on you know how to use an editor cap in your campaign. What you guys can take do take away from this video to put in your game right now, and uh, spawn some ideas. So like we a little while back we def definitely did our uh, our creepwood is that mm -hmm. what we called it I think so crawl crawl, crawl, crawl the creepwood was that crawling wood the creepy forest something, something like that yeah. crawlwood <laughs> crawlwood <laughs> crawl we'll yeah. have to go back through our own videos yeah. and find out yeah we we, we do, do so many it's yeah. really hard to remember so about. like but we talked about hags and all kinds of nasty things that are in there you know there's definitely some of these guys hanging oh, out yeah, absolutely um you know or you know uh, you could use them actually moving into like the a regular forest that's probably you know located near a village town hamlet i, w I would think it's got to be more especially for the lower levels you got to do like one or two of them in there there it's like an incursion force into like a normal happy sylvan forest well for lower wrong. levels i like one and first you know first off is you know you're encountering spiders right mm. yeah uh, it, it, you know you got to go through that progression Edder caps, you know, they're basically spider guys. Mm. So they're minions. Man like, spiders. Man spiders. Yeah, yeah. Spider mans. Yeah. yeah, somewhere in between. <laughs> so you know, their 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 allies are going to be spiders or their minions or whatever you want to call. Them. And plus, obviously, there's the synergy of all the web stuff they use, mm. and the fact that you know the spiders and the edder caps can, can both move through each other's webs without any problems. Yeah. You know, so. Um, by way of talking about like maybe more interesting uses, you could have like a uh, edder cap like highwayman basically, it's just like like leave your meat, like you're you're like th th the supplies it would want from from you, like it demands tribute of that, or one of your horses, maybe. yeah, yeah, one of your horses, something like that, like you could kind of do that sort of thing. I was also thinking how badass it, badass it would be to have like give it some levels and make a uh, an editor cap assassin, like like he loves the sport of the kill. Yeah, like I don't know so what he's he walking would do. through the forest and one well, of your guys disappears. Well, no, no, like car. he's uh, he's an assassin. Like people hire him. Like he sells his services within cities, like shady cities or whatever. He's got to wear this big cloak. <laughs> well, no, he factors on not being seen. Like he only comes in the depths of the night. But like yeah, like your ways. meeting with him is you don't see him. You just yeah. hear a, a disembodied like, voice. Right, right. Like, it's like the shadows. Meet, it's like meeting with Batman. Like yeah, that kind of, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Batman. So I mean, like I don't know what needed. It would have of material wealth yeah or maybe like it is like that really like had that weird off kilter mpc in your world that like he does exist in the city and yeah i mean he mostly keeps a low profile but like the people that are in the know do know about so, them so maybe there's like an area in the you know in like the sewers that's like you know shut his down lair. and he's got you know spiders galore everywhere well it might be like an opulent like he likes the opulence of society he just can't be participate so he right. has like golden goblets right know. but he's still got the, the spiders and stuff ever, everywhere because those are his you know mm. those are his minions those are his you know thing it's you know kind of who he talks to mm. well um, yeah and obviously like you know you you know it's D D, so we always like to talk about the giant and monster spiders but what about regular normal spiders, spiders yeah. that it can talk to and use as spies and infiltrators and to yeah, gather yeah. information yeah. so it, it has its own network you know um i you know, I could see your assassin. Or a thieves guild, a thieves guild, like yeah, like a whole guild, not just the one dude. Like. Well, I like the solo aspect mm. of it, mm. uh, but you know, would it, you know either either the assassin would work or information broker, yeah. because they call him the spider and like oh, it's just a nickname. Right, that would be literally as a spider. Right, and you know he's got 
he's he's got feelers he's you know he's got eyes and basically everywhere's in the city through the spiders yeah. you know so that would be another interesting take i i, I like the information broker that well they both work i mean right. it just depends what you guys need for your game right yeah. you know um also like you know going back to like the more monster based you know you, you could do like what if farmsteads like all of a sudden you've got um cattle showing up dead and they've been drained of their blood hmm. Like, the, the, the red herring of the uh, of the vampire. Yeah, yeah, you could absolutely do that. You know, you know, or you know, the shepherd. He you know is found in, with his flock and uh, he's been completely drained of his blood. So you, you, especially with a low level lower level party, you get them going like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to deal with a vampire. A vampire. Yeah, because the CR is reasonable for you know second third. That caps only at two. Yeah. You get a second level party, they they're gonna they're gonna house that without a problem. Yeah. So like. Uh, I don't know about what else. Without problem. There could AC, be problems. AC 13, 44 hit points. It's also yeah. an ambush predator. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if your party is dealing with this on fair terms, you're using this monster horrendously. Okay, okay. You're, 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 you're not winning D&D, &D, <laughs> all right? You're absolutely correct. We keep quoting angry DM, <laughs> GM, but... Because it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so like, um, you're, you're right in a fair fight, you know, that our cap gets thrown. But back. it should get a round or two on the party. Yeah, you know, it's going to send out minions. It's going to attack from the shadows. But, yeah, I like the idea of, the, you know, being able to use the red herring as, oh, no, oh, my God, we're going to have to face the vampire. But, no, it's actually just... Uh, really an utter cap and they start like trying to make preparations and you like, like keep, keep they're getting still garlic keep... and well and like well, well if they spend like days doing that kind of stuff like he's now doing like escalating his plan like the timetable because they're they're like following the red herring and like whatever it is he's wanting to do it's just happening and the pcs here they about the aftermath yeah, yeah. I, you know they're they're smart enough i mean intelligence seven so they're they, they they're in they are an intelligent monster i think they have enough sense that they could actually even foster that maybe one's more of like a maybe you have one it's kind of like a trickster mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a joke for him that he does it yeah. i mean he's leaving bodies in his wake left yeah. and right but dark sense of humor dark but sense it's of humor. hilarious he's got yeah look at our cops and other cops gotta eat yo yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah he uses those big claws to put to make sure it's two puncture marks <laughs> yeah, yeah he recreates everything like all the lore about it yeah, yeah. so uh going back to our information broker he could also like oh I sell poison as well because uh, like, yeah, he just milks he, himself. Yeah. <laughs> or, or one of his he has his minions like hey, you the spark, spider spark now. Yeah. yeah, you you do have to take some liberty because um, if you actually look here, they don't have any languages. Um, so technically, yeah, you wanna, we'll, you, we'll give him common. He, he wouldn't make a very good information broker if he can't so, speak. Or, or you know, an actual uh, you know a hired assassin if you can't really talk to people. Um, but if you if you gave them the ability to speak common and speak to to spiders um you know you could definitely you know take that to to, to wild ends we're you know and then like a, a third like kind of like off kilter idea for one of these guys is uh what if they're like a what if there's a a, a taller seamstress weaver whatever that deals only in silk mm. In, in the town, right, and sells through a proxy, and it's and it's actually the Ettercap is actually an artisan. <laughs> it's their hobby. I like the knit. I yeah, like the knit. <laughs> you know, well, they you know they mm. can make uh, they do all this stuff with their silk uh, webbing. Why not? Why not make it into garments or tapestries or something like that? That you know, they're, this could be our, 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 our information broker's hobby. Like when he's not doing <laughs> that. Also, what, what if you've got an Ettercap who, who's a coward? Like he he doesn't want to to fight, and he found that you know he's got the ability to use his silk and sell it, and that's how he actually gets. He's the like sustenance. the hiccup of the Ettercap world. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> Everyone else is like, I'm totally joking. This guy, I need him. And, and he's, he's like, like, I'm not very good. I want to be a dentist. I'm just going to buy sheep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to be a dentist. Yeah. So you know that that's you know that that could be a way that that gets worked in. And then then another one is always the. The underdark Ettercap Druid, or I mean, or just any kind of dark Druid, really, uh, Ettercap would work uh, exceedingly well. Especially, you know, yeah, the, you got the spider flavor going on, on already. Right. Druid, mm -hmm. yeah, you could do some fun things. Yeah, with you can that. definitely bust an Ettercap in your party's ass. Yeah, yeah. and wisdom, yeah. they've already got the wisdom. You don't even have to do anything with the stat. Yeah, you know, they actually have a positive modifier there. Right. You know, if you wanted to tack on some draw levels. So vermin herder. 
Yes, the, the ver yeah, own. the vermin. You could give them the vermin swarm instead of the beast companion. Give them the swarm as its companion. Uh, yeah, you could absolutely do fun things like that. Uh, well, and mess with the rules. It's a, it's like a one-time exception. Well, well druids yeah, don't get so, beast companions, yeah. so yeah. That's a ranger. Oh yeah, I did that wrong. You did yeah. it absolutely wrong. You, although you think, can ranger I think druid. Over on Reddit, we've got a beast companion ra ranger uh, discussion going. So, there, there. Well, I've always figured you could actually take beast companion from, you know, from ranger and slap it on druid as another circle. Yeah, that would be reasonable. That would yeah. be totally. So reasonable. we can make the druid have a really sucky uh, archetype as well. <laughs> mm. Well, we'll give them the fixed archetype. Of, uh, of yeah, Beastmaster. they'll be better than the Ranger as written. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So with that, guys, you know, Edder caps, they're freaking amazing. Use them in your game. I hope we've sparked some ideas uh, for different ways that you can use them. I mean, we, uh, we used one monster ver version and three NPC versions. You know, one of them is completely non-violent at one's, all. Yeah, one's going to be right, for, right for, for your game. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let us know down in the comments below. Why you like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. You can uh, find us over on Twitter. You can support us on Patreon. Yes, and join uh, the conversation over on Reddit. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.